Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Chris Moreau from Miraculins, and of course you have the non-invasive diabetes testing. You've got the Scout, right? Yes, we have the Scout. Well, what I would like to know, and I hope the Investor Intel audience will, will hold here with me, but what's happening with the U.S. FDA? We had very good news uh, that we had announced uh, based on our feedback from the U.S. FDA that we are going to continue down a pathway called a de novo path for a class two device in the U.S. and uh, we hope to have some additional news soon for the for the market. All right, for those of us that may not understand the biotech industry as well as obviously Chris does, can you tell us what this means for the timeline and why this is such exciting news? What it means is that uh, typically in the U.S. to go for a class two designation you need to have a predicate device meaning there needs to be a comparable device on the market that you can point to. There is no predicate device for the Scout but there's an exception in the U.S. FDA called a de novo pathway where if you don't have a predicate device you can rely on this pathway. It's much easier than being a class three that's much more uh, expensive it's more time consuming and if we uh, can continue for a de novo pathway for the U.S. FDA and the Scout, it's very good news for shareholders. I was just about to say, this is very good news for shareholders. So now is the time to really be watching you, because this is when the big lift happens, of course, is once that approval happens. So can you tell us what this process timeline might be, might be like, best case scenario? G generally speaking, uh, studies uh, for a class two depends on the size of the study. There are some details we're still working through with the FDA. Uh, so I'm, I'm not going to be able to give you a specific timeline, but we are hoping to begin uh, more specific plans for a study in the fall. Uh, the size of the study and how long it will take, we'll be able to update the market uh, at that time. Of course, you just put out news about a study that you've done with uh, Amway. Can you tell us more about this? Yes, uh, Amway reached out to us uh, and wanted to do a study. They have a device that's very expensive that can scan a person's skin and uh, tell whether that skin's been damaged, either by uh, excessive UV uh, damage below the surface. This is a device that they use that is very expensive. It's not mobile. They had read about the Scout, and since we're looking at AGEs as part of diagnosing or screening someone for period type 2 diabetes, and these markers are involved in the aging process, they wanted to know if maybe there was a novel uh, device that could come from the Scout if it performed comparable to uh, one of their devices that they, uh, that they were using. So we did the study with them. Uh, the data was very promising. They are uh, presenting the data at a major dermatology conference, I think, next week and uh, we were pleased with the results. There is potential for the bottom line, there's potential for additional uses of the Scout IPR technology. This is not a medical uh, use, so this is not uh, the Scout per se, but the potential for our IP or a part of our technology being used for different applications. And this, of course, is where I would like you to give us more of a geek response to what is this IP technology that makes your pre-testing advantage in this market so compelling? Uh, our IP focus on using light in the um, visible and non-visible spectrum to fluoresce tissue, which identifies markers that are correlated with pre and type 2 diabetes. And these markers are primarily called AGEs. They're advanced glycosylated end products. They're in everyone's skin tissue. They're part of the aging process of the skin, but they hyper express or hyper elevate in the pre or type 2 diabetic. And prior to the Scout, the only way to test for these markers was biopsy. Now the Scout using a light source fluoresces, energizes these particles. We take a photograph, we run a, a, uh, an algorithm, and we can say to you with a high degree of sensitivity whether you're at risk increased for pre or type 2 diabetes and that's what the basis of the Scout intellectual property is. Of course we're going to do something unusual today after this interview and I'm actually going to be tested. I'll actually post my results underneath this video. So further to this, what should we as shareholders anticipate this next two quarters? Well, the, uh, we're making progress in, uh, in China. We announced that we're now at the product testing phase for the Chinese FDA. want to remind uh, our shareholders that we did sign a major distribution deal in China, uh, that we need to get uh, Chinese FDA approval, and on approval we'll receive additional milestone payments from the Chinese and a $15 million uh, LOC for our first order in China. We're advancing on having our first prototype uh, production units manufactured at AVO in Philadelphia and we uh, continue to work away on our US FDA uh, uh, pathway. 
I think the uh, Chinese market is very interesting. Can you just give us a few more details about this particular distribution agreement? So uh, we are uh, in China. There is no family practice market. There isn't a food or pharmacy market for the Scout, and there isn't a corporate wellness market, the three markets that we've identified in North America and in Europe. In China, the market are, is for hospitals, and our partner, Cache, distributes uh, small medical devices and therapeutics to hospitals. We plan on uh, offering the Scout. Uh, they want to set up banks and banks of Scouts in hospitals across China so that as people come in for ver a variety of reasons, they'll be screened on the Scout. If they're borderline or elevated, they can immediately go and get their blood work done and hopefully be diagnosed and treated. They have a major diabetes problem in China and the Scout is there to help. Speaking of that, diabetes, of course, is one of the fastest growing illnesses in the world. Can you tell us a little bit more about diabetes? Diabetes is the body's inability to properly metabolize glucose. So when we eat or drink, glucose is absorbed into the bloodstream. You need uh, insulin, which is produced by the pancreas, to metabolize the glucose so that it can be used by the body. If your pancreas isn't producing enough insulin, or if your body becomes immune to it, you have unmetabolized glucose in your blood. This, over a long period of time, is what diabetes is, and that damages your organs, your circulatory system. The problem with diabetes you can have it for three to five years and not have symptoms and so early diagnosis is key and the scout no blood draw non-invasive you don't have to fast it's 90 seconds and we can tell you that you have an elevated risk for pre and type 2 and get you to your doctor to get your blood work done that's what the scouts all about well and of course for all of you shareholders who are involved in miraculins this is undoubtedly a stock that you can feel good about thank you so much for joining us today. thanks thanks Tracy good seeing you again